Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Goddard. The, the Lincoln County Tax Assessor has been going property to property, counting how many homes and other buildings have been lost in the Little Bear Fire. The number jumped to 154 structures today, with more expected. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live in Ruidoso with the latest. Gabby? Jessica, many people here are waiting to see when and if they have a home to return to. But meanwhile, several people have opened their doors in this time of need. The Little Bear Fire has scorched more than 36,000 acres and 154 structures, a number expected to grow. Crews are still working to assess all the damage, while several people are without homes. We just felt like there was the, the immediate need with the displaced people, uh, whether they were just waiting to hear whether they had lost their homes or whether they actually already knew that is that they needed a place to go eat. The free food sign has been out since Saturday. Shirley Estes of Mountain Annie's has helped feed hundreds of people a day, but she doesn't want all the credit. Schlotzky's helped us. They donated work as well as food. Uh, Hall of Flame donated hamburger buns. Uh, we just had a lot of outpouring from the community. Evacuees are told it could still be days before they can return home. Estes says the daily get togethers have been therapeutic. They get to know the other people that are evacuees. Um, there's no rush. They can sit all day. They won't sit all day. Since the Red Cross served breakfast, today Mountain Annie's offers free lunch and dinner. It's support <laughs> Rudoso has seen before. We've seen it in the flood when we had a really bad flood. Uh, when the fire was down at Hondo, same thing. People tend to come together and just whatever the need is, it doesn't matter. They walked in yesterday and day before, just what can we do? We're just here to help. It. More than 980 personnel are working to suppress the fire. Some of them are among the people who are stopping by to eat and take a break. Lincoln County is now in a state of emergency, but the foundation of the village, rooted in family and friendship, has not been shaken. There's nothing that buys them. Uh, that's because it comes from their heart. As you mentioned, we are told by the Lincoln County Tax Assessor that they're still working on counting the specific number of homes that were lost. They'll work to notify those people within the next few days. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, anyone who is looking for information about their property needs to contact Rudo So Fire Information Center at 575 258 6900. Today, there are a couple of community meetings to get information to evacuees. Two are set at Ruidoso High School at 4.30 and at 7 tonight. There will also be a meeting tonight at 7 at the fairgrounds in Capitan and one at 6 at the end of the Mountain Gods Resort southwest of Ruidoso.